First, right. Where's that game want to get stuck into? Uh, not before I update my marketing report for work. I need it for Monday. What about my social studies assignment? Look, before we all get carried away, let's just check we've got everything. Is there a packing list in the box? Oh, I don't think this is it. Uh, it shows how to set up the computer. Yeah, but we'll need that. Oh, it could be in here. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Do we have one Macintosh computer? Yep. Yep. Got we've that. got that. Uh, keyboard. Yep. Right. Mouse. Here it is. Just like the one at school, Mum. Power cord. Ooh. Yep. One power cord. Present and correct. Uh, disc, manuals, booklets. Looks like everything. Mm. Oh, what's all this? What looks important? This must be a uh, warranty. How about you fill this out, Brian? Warranty? What do we need that for? Well, apart from covering us for parts um, and labour, if something does go wrong... OK, I'll do it right away. And we get a subscription to Apple News. Oh, yeah, I've seen that in the library at school. It's a magazine. It's quite good, actually. It tells you about new Apple computers and it's got software and news and things. Where are you going with that, Lisa? To my room. It'll make a great adventure house for my toys and then... Yes, well, that's one thing you could do with it, but I really think we should store it in the garage because if we do move, then we can pack the computer safely. Do you think that's a good place for it? It's right in the sun. It could get very hot. And there isn't much room around it either, especially for my homework books. And you won't be able to see the monitor with all that light on it. Anything else? I was just trying it out there. Now that we've moved the desk, the light won't bother us and we've got all this space to work on. Yes, that looks great. And the power cord, which is the nearest? Oh, we could plug it in over there and run an extension across the floor. No, that'd be too dangerous. We could trip over. No, it's okay. There's one here, just down the back there. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, to you. you. It's a birthday present, Dad. Two weeks early and idea for the whole family. Fantastic. It looks cool. And it looks comfortable. And we'll adjust to everyone's height. My turn, my turn. Ah, speaking of turns, we should organise a roster. And I read somewhere that you should take a break every ten minutes when you're working. And one last finishing touch. I've got this specially no, for you. No, no, not the frog. <laughs> Step one, unpack all the parts. Oh, we've done that. Of course. OK, step two, plug in the computer. OK, now I'll show you kids how to do it. <laughs> Dad, it's a Mac. It's easy. We can do this. But let's do the mouse. See this little symbol right here? Well, it connects to the keyboard where you see the exact same symbol. But Want, Dad, you can put the mouse on the left hand side, see? Just for lefty like you. And the keyboard? Power on. And now for the big moment. Let me switch it on, it's the power key. Welcome to Macintosh. Welcome to you too. Hope you like it here. We're a friendly bunch, not too demanding. Something called Launcher has appeared. On the reverse side, there's a um, what to do next. If you're new to Macintosh, look at the performer tutorial. OK, here we go. OK, it says here, use your hand to slide the mouse along the table. Yeah, I did that. Then the arrow moves on screen as you move the mouse. Yeah, yeah. 
Move the mouse so the arrow is over the button labelled Performer Tutorial. And without moving the mouse, click the mouse button. I did it! <laughs> it's working! <laughs> Hey, Lise, can you go through using the mouse with me, uh, just to make sure I'm doing it the right way? Dad, you have to put the mouse on the desk, like this. See, this is how you move the cursor. All you have to do is point and click. Here, you take it. Okay. Try moving it a bit. See the pointer on the screen? You're controlling that. Oh, I get it. Now point at the hard disk and click once. See, it's gone dark. That means you've selected it. Now go to the file menu. Click on it and drag it down and let go on open. See, it opened. What's the hard disk? It's where everything on the computer is stored. It's like a large filing. Hmm. But how do I start work? I want to write that letter to my client. Wait a second, Dad. You just can't dive straight in. I'll have to show you how to get organised first. See these icons that look like little folders? Yes, the what, Apple Extras the Application Systems folder. Well, what's in them? Well, let's take a look. Here's an even easier way to open things. Instead of using the file menu, you just double click, click twice. Do it on Applications. Oh, even more folders. And if you want to open any of the folders, all you have to do is double click on the one you want. That's Claris Works. Double click on that and you're in the program. Oh, how do I close a folder? Just point and click on this box on the top left of the window. Ah. Oh, it's closed. I'll close this one too. You can even create your own folders to store work in. Want to try? Yeah, I think I can handle that. Just go up to the menu bar at the top, pull down for aisle, and let go a new folder. See? Oh, there it is. It just popped up. Untitled folder. Want to name it? Just type in whatever you want. Client letter. Will that do? Perfect. Just click anywhere else on the screen to deselect it. See, it's not highlighted anymore. Okay. If you don't want it anymore, click on it and then hold the mouse button down while you drag it into the trash can. Yeah, right. Then go up to special on the menu bar. Drag it down to empty trash and let go. Just click OK when you see that message. And that's it. Hmm. I'd like to practice this mouse control a bit more. Whatever you do, don't practice trashing the system folder. It contains all the software that runs the Macintosh. It's the most important thing on the computer. What? Even more important than this? Dad. Tom, you got a moon? What for, Dad? This launcher, what is it? Oh, that's where you find everything we need. Uh, you've already been through these learning tutorials. See these other buttons? Well, you can click on them to get more. Service and support, demos. Have you written your client letter yet? Uh, not exactly. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. First, you need to open Claris Works. And that will be in Applications. So we go to the application button and click on it. Mm -hmm. What are applications? Well, they're software programs that let you do things. Like Classworks here. It has a word processor, spreadsheet, database, mm. and that kind of thing. Look, Mavis Beacon teaches typing. That's a typing tutor, if you want to get serious about writing letters, Dad. I'm doing just fine with two fingers. If I have a moment, I'll give that a go. There are some really cool games here, Dad. But don't, don't tell Mark. Show me. Okay. If you want to see something really cool, check this out. Hey, that looks like a music CD. Except it's not. It's better. Here's the fun part. Please 
indicate whether you wish to begin with a guided tour or explore on your own initiative. Sarah, I could use some help with that ladder. Sure. So I go to Launcher, click on Applications, and then click on Clarice Works. Very good. <laughs> and what now? You mean that's as far as you got with Tom? Well, Tom, he introduced me to this educational program, which I thought was mm, very... Star Trek, right? I think that was the name of it, yeah. Mm, well, click on Create a New Document. What's a document? Oh, well, that's what they call your own work. You know, a letter, an invitation, they're all documents. Oh, OK. What now? Well, you want to write a letter, so it's word processing. Well, just click OK. It's a blank page. <laughs> exactly. And all you have to do is start typing. Oh, OK. Sincerely, Brian Edwards, director. Now all you have to do is save it. Pull down the file menu and release on the word save. What do I do here? See where it's highlighted. Just type in a name. Okay. Something sensible so that you can find it later. FBT cars. Mm -hmm. And make sure you store it where you can find it. Mm -hmm. See? Right now it's saving into the documents folder, but by pulling down here, you can make it save onto the desktop or onto another folder. Right, I get it. So I can store it on my own folder, right? Mm, right. Now pull down the file menu and release on quit to leave the program. Oh, oh. how will I find <laughs> it next time? Easy. Just open your client letter folder and double click on the letter. You mean I don't have to open Paris Works first? That's right. When you double click on your letter, it opens automatically. And if you should ever decide to get rid of this masterpiece, just drag it into the trash, pull down the special menu and select no, no, empty don't, trash. Don't do it! <laughs> don't worry, I wouldn't dare. Look, if you double click on the trash, you can open it and move something back onto the desktop. Just as long as you haven't emptied it first, right? You got it. <laughs> that report I wrote last night, can you show me how to save it onto a floppy disk? I'll need a backup. That's funny you should ask. I just learned how to do that last night. Good. Well, when you get the disk out of the box, you put it in the disk drive. Mm -hmm. And this message should come up. OK, now give it a name. Give the disk a name. Marketing report, okay. And then press on initialize and then again on continue. And now it does all the work for you and tells you when it's done. And then you find your work and you drag it onto the disk and let go. And see the scroll comes up and shows you that it's copying over. <laughs> it's that easy. It's that easy. To get the disk out, you can either just drag it down into the trash, let go, there it is, or you can go up to file menu and draw it down to put away. Uh, Mum, is your computer at work at PC? Yes, why? Well, if you're planning on taking that to the office, you're going to need to save your work ready for a PC. All right. Can you show me? Oh, I think I know how. Mm. Pass me a blank disk. Uh, right. Right. When you format a disk, it gives you the choice. See? You can format for a PC. Oh, I think that's all you need to do. Oh, that wasn't difficult. Well, the other thing is, you need to make sure that the file you're working on is ready for a PC. Uh, you'll need to open your document and save it again, Mum. What are you doing? You have to save for a PC. See, you get all these choices. Which word processor do you use at work? Um, I think it's WordPerfect. 
Word Perfect PC 4.2. There you go. Better give it a new name and keep the original here. Now uh, copy over onto the floppy. Excuse me. Yes, yes, the high score. Cream, you Lisa. I'm the supreme being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you wait. Hey, while mum and dad are out, let's make the Mac look really cool. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, okay, straight into the Apple menu, and we go. There's the control panels. Okay, today's date is the 22nd, and the time is. Eleven. Okay. Now for the fun part, desktop patterns. Let's use a really cool one. Oh, that was cool. Nah. Mm. Yes. yes! Now for sound. Let's turn the volume up so it really pumps it out on the games. Not too loud. It'll drive Mum crazy. Okay, now for a new sound to go with a new look. Nah, let's add our own sound, something really cool like, okay. uh oh. Let me do it. Um. Uh oh. Now let's name the computer. I want to call it Dylan. Oh, that is such a dumb name. It needs to be something cool like uh, Hank 10. That is so pathetic. How about we call it Max? Max? I knew you'd like it. Max it is then. Welcome to the family, Max. Welcome to you, 99. Now I can print my posters, I can print my uh, school assignments and essays. And I heard that. Well, we won't be able to print anything until we get that thing connected. Any volunteers? Yeah, I'll do it. Is that what you want it? Okay, make sure Max is off, Dad. You're not supposed to connect printers with the computer turned on. Someone pass me the printer cable. Yeah, this goes in the back. See this symbol? Looks like a printer. Well, it fits into the back of the computer where the magic symbol is. And hey presto. Now I can print out my famous client letter. I'm not yet, Dad. We have to plug it into the wall. I'm just about to do that. Okay, turn Max back on. Turn the printer on. And open your letter. Now I've got to get into the chooser and select the printer. Do I have to select chooser every time? No, no, you won't have to do it again. See, now you can print. Just as soon as there's paper in the tray, then. Yeah. Oh. How do I make it print? Select print from the file menu. Make two copies. Click on OK and away it goes to the printer. What are all these other plugs for? Well, the one with the phone symbol is modem port. We can use that to connect a modem if we decide to get into eWorld or the internet. This is called a SCSI port. You need that if you want to add a scanner or an extra drive. Well, here we are, guys. Am I an expert or what? Dad has finally printed his client letter. <laughs> Mr. 
What are you up to? Um, I bought an antivirus program today, you know, to protect the computer from viruses, so I thought I'd install it. What, right now? Yes. Want to help? I don't know if I can. I haven't loaded any software yet. Me either. Let's figure it out together. Here's the manual. Chapter one. Installing Sam. Mm -hmm. Insert disk. This here. Okay. Now it says double click to install Sam. I think I managed that. Um, click, click. Yeah. And continue. Now just click on install. Okay. That was pretty straightforward. Well, there's not much more to it. Just follow the screen instructions and uh, as we go. Hmm. All done. By the way, have you seen this? What? It's an energy saver. A what? Well, look, you can set the computer up to darken the screen and save energy when you're not using it. Does that prevent uh, screen burning? Yes, it does. This is how you set it up. Oh. Well, look, set it off to go after about 15 minutes. You know what the kids are like? Hmm. They lose interest and walk off after halfway through something. Yeah, okay. Done! All right, who's been in my files? What's the matter, Dad? I can't get this program to load. Which program? This game I bought. Well, have you tried with the menu? Why don't we just ring Apple? Because the computer's running perfectly. It's not the computer, it's the software. Now, if you can't find the answer in the manual, there's even a phone number on the back of the package you can ring. Yeah, yeah, OK, OK. But what happens if we have a problem with the computer? Who do we ring then? Well, I suppose we just ring the people who we bought it from. I mean, that's what the warranty's for. Mum's already sent it in. I saw her do it. Come to think of it, the salesman said they did service support and training. I wonder if they've got a word processing course, because that's what I need. Oh, I think I'll give them a ring. <laughs> 